In this video, we will demonstrate the repair process for catastrophically blown traces on printed circuit boards. Here you can see that high voltage has damaged a number of traces that must be repaired. The first step is determining where the traces will run and to remove the bad trace material from the board. Now that the bad traces have been removed, we will clear the solder joints of any solder and inspect for damage within the joints that would interfere with a good connection. We will also remove any carbon and clean around the area because carbon can sometimes act as a resistor in a circuit and cause problems. So we will be cleaning up the area, removing as much carbon from the substrate of the PCB as possible. Now that we've cleared the holes and removed any contaminants and installed the new component, which is here, we will now put in the new trace. We have selected an appropriately sized wire for the thickness of the trace that we have, and now we will be adding it to the PCB. So here, we will be wrapping the trace wire around the component lead near the base of the solder joint. A few times will do the trick. We will push the wire down to the joint of the base and add our solder. We will remove excess wire carefully and then do the same on the other side of the printed circuit board. Now that we have our trace positioned, the final step of our trace repair will be to lay down new solder mask to both protect the PCB and to hold down our newly formed trace. We will cover all spots that have exposed copper. Now we have our repaired trace. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.